A spot of preventive measures taken up by Bishnupur District ahead of the Independence Day celebration. A team comprising of Bishnupur Police and Moirang Police under the command of Additional Superintendent of Police Operations, KSS Manihar conducted cordon and search operation in surrounding areas of Bishnupur Ward No. 9 and 11 from 4.30 till 5.30 this morning, during which 310 men were verified by the police team. In connection to the upcoming Patriots Day celebration, All Manipur State Sumang Lila Council is hosting an event where Manipuri play Marai Bak Ning Bakwereng Sana will stage for the eighth time at Iboyama Sumang Lila Sanglen on August 13. The play is directed by Padma Sri Naba Warepa and cast several artists from different Sumang Lila groups. Landslides affected Imphal Dimapur Highway will be open for the day. Earlier, the stretch near the oil dumping site of Kohima Municipal Council remained closed due to multiple landslides. As per reports, the highway will close again tomorrow for complete restoration of the road. Health and Family Minister L. Jantikumar inaugurated District Early Intervention Center DEIC at Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences Genems in Fal yesterday in the presence of State Mission Director National Health Mission Manipur Dr. S. Manikanta and Director of Genems Dr. T. H. Bhimo. Langpolapa Melody of Manipur along with Tanvi R. Marak of Meghalaya and Rajeshwari Chakraborty of Sikkim were crowned the 17th Sun Silk Mega Miss Northeast 2019 at the Glittering Grand Finale at the ITA Cultural Complex in Mach Koa, Guwahati last evening. The Grand Finale was hosted by Northeast India's leading beauty pageant organizer, Mega Entertainment, last night. The depression that has caused torrential rainfall mainly in Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu claiming at least 70 lives are forcing the evacuation of tens of thousands of people is expected to abate from today, according to India Meteorological Department IMD. Extremely heavy rains battered the western coastal states and many parts of western Ghats last night, killing 28 persons in central and northern districts of Kerala and prompting the evacuation of nearly 65,000 people.